A wonderful day we have now in Liverpool. All that early morning rain that soaked us has disappeared. And uh, Liverpool, as you say, getting ready for Brentford on Sunday afternoon at 4.30 on a slot's first home game in the Premier League in charge of Liverpool. Huge excitement and anticipation, I'm sure. Let me stand to one side and you can see exactly what's going on at the moment. They've been out for about four or five minutes just going through a fairly strenuous uh, warm-up. Uh, with uh, all the coaching staff and uh, Arna Slot just keeping a close eye on everybody. Let's be frank, this is a Liverpool squad that needs to close a nine-point gap. That's how far they finished behind Manchester City last season, finishing in third. So it's a squad geared up for challenging for that title, no doubt. Also, of course, busy, of course, with uh, Champions League commitments as well. Eyebrows raised, I suppose, in recent weeks that they haven't strengthened uh, at the moment and I'm guessing Gundogan's arrival back at Manchester City might also uh, have Liverpool fans saying well what are we doing why aren't we strengthening the champions are strengthening and they already have uh, a formidable squad so that might uh, produce more transfer talk in the, the coming days here at Liverpool but uh, today in his news conference on a slot very very calm very composed very relaxed he says he's inherited a very good squad and there's there's no panic at all with regard to uh, new signings. He says, uh, when I asked him about being nervous, I mean, let's face it, Anfield is a huge stage, crowd of more than 60,000 in there. The eyes of the football world will be on the new Liverpool boss at home in the league for the first time to see how they cope. But he says no sense of nerves whatsoever. He's busy with this preparation, uh, as we're seeing at the moment. Uh, and he says he trusts his team. And I suspect that not, that's not just the team that we're seeing warming up at the moment, but it's the whole backroom staff as well. As regards to signings, uh, it's fair to say on a slot's a manager who keeps his cards close to his chest uh, when we have news we will let you know he says but clearly uh, we're expecting uh, Georgi uh, Mamadashvili the Valencia keeper to complete uh, a move in, in the next 24 hours that's what all the signs are at the moment a lot of speculation this morning about uh, Jared Branthwaite maybe making what would be a, a highly controversial move for Everton fans across Stanley Park uh, to Liverpool that's because the centre-half position debate rumbles on a little bit after what happened last week at Ipswich with uh, young Gerald Kwanza coming off to be uh, replaced at uh, half-time by Kanati. Uh, Kwanza has picked up a small injury in training. Uh, we're not sure whether that will mean he's part of the matchday squad on Sunday. We'll have to wait and see. But clearly, uh, centre-half, uh, a position that had caused some debate today in the news conference, uh, uh, the manager insisting that... Virgil van Dijk remains his number one centre half, and you would sense it's although he said it's two from four, you sense it's one other from three to play alongside uh, Virgil van Dijk. But uh, there we are, it's Liverpool to face Brentford. Brentford, of course, coming with two recently signed players from Liverpool in Carvalho and uh, um, van, der Ber van den Berg. So that'll be interesting. Uh, Arna Slot saying he hopes they don't particularly return and have a good game on Sunday. We'll have to wait and find out, though.